I'm not on a big gratuitous war sequence where it's one army versus another army. I'm one super badass trooper in like a specialized strike fighting the the guard like the idiot stupid enough to jump out onto the surface of the Star Destroyer to come and get me because they're fucking idiots Although it is in the it's a smaller battle in the middle of a giant horrible war sequence happening around us, which is nifty. And fun. Like that's quite a that's quite a sky boss. Disable, to have you fighting under. Where where oh, hello. Need to train myself to look up. No one ever looks up in video games. Not even me. Yeah, see that sound by of her saying scan for Imperials accidentally played at, at like the beginning of the story when we were still really when we were still Imperials. She said scan for Imperials when we were fighting rebels. <laughs> That's pretty humorous. Ah, oh, these checkpoints. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna try and run for it, cause I'm sick of this taking too long. Like, this seems really unreasonable, I'm fighting a lot of dudes and it's just me. It's just a little old me doing it. I feel like that's a little not fair. Doesn't help that, it doesn't seem to take long for them to just shave my entire health off really quick. <laughs> Seriously with these baton guys. Who? Fuck you! No! Oh, thank god. There we go. Okay, making progress. Come on. We need to get my father off the ship before it goes down. Why? It's going down. He's gonna be dead. I don't see the extra advantage besides catharsis to like taking him in alive. <laughs> I know it was like they were like, oh shit, the whole ship's blown up. Like at the end of, uh, like at the end of Return of the Jedi. Where they're like, oh shit, this shit's going up, and the Imperials are evacuating, and they kind of see the good guy running through, 
and it's like, ah, fuck it, don't have time for this, we gotta go. Just let, leave him alone. Let's go. The Empire's time has come. You don't have to go down with it. This is a Let's just get out of here. I politely decline. We have to go now. Rax expects me to leave, too. This is where I belong. I gave my life to this Empire. Fought to keep it strong. Hard to believe this is all that's left. Oh. Yeah, just drag him out. Take him prisoner. Fuck it. You saw the Empire's weakness and refused to let it consume you. It made you stronger. That's why you're leaving here without me. It deserves better than this. No, I don't. But you do, Aiden. You deserve to live in peace. Go. Survive. Live. Oh. This was all for nothing. I died like three times fighting dudes on the surface of this stupid fucking Star Destroyer for nothing. It was all pointless. I got closure and nothing else. And again, like all the stormtroopers are evacuating, being like, ah, oh, fuck this, gotta get out of here. Don't even give a shit. Don't have time to worry about your ass. Yay. I'm assuming that's the end. All the antagonists are fucking dead. So didn't even fight any First Order soldier. Like, it ends before the First Order becomes a thing. I figured it would show the creation of the First Order. The war is over. Aiden, it's over. We won. It's over. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Come on. The uh, droid tells me you're alive. Looks that way. I'm glad. Now, come on. You gotta see this. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -da 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 right? No, yes, what? Decades later, I'm so sure. You answered nothing. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's not really their job or anything, but... Oh. 
finally following up on that character. If you wanted to hire my ship, you could have just asked. The map to Skywalker. You know how I can find it. I don't know what you're talking about. Show me where the old man took it. <laughs> Oh, what is this? What is this? I won't tell you anything. You think this ship will protect you? Keep you safe? <laughs> that's fucking funny. Yeah, let's end the game by letting you play as Kylo Ren. That's pretty cute. That's pretty adorable. You hoped the Empire would make you brave. That's pretty great. Do you feel brave now? With the cross guard lightsaber, as if that's any different from a regular lightsaber. More Santeca has the map to Skywalker. I don't know what you're talking about. Where did he take it? This sort of looks like the planet from, uh, at the end of Rogue One, really. Your memories are so easily broken. And this is kind of interesting because it was sort of implied. Yeah, this is the planet from Rogue One. It was sort of implied that the way Kylo Ren's, like, interrogation force power thing worked was he was, like, reading someone's mind and breaking down their little, like, mind palace barriers or whatever. But we're actually seeing, like, a visualization of that. And actually playing through it, which is pretty, just pretty nifty. Stop shooting the guy with the lightsaber, you fucking idiot. Made you a traitor. You think she changed you? That's oh, skip through fucking dialogue there. <laughs> oh, the mind trip. What the fuck? Whoa! <laughs> this is going on a bit too long. It's great, like, I get it. They're like, yo. Let's fucking play as fucking Kylo Ren. Because, yo, am I right? And yeah, you're right. It's weird that it's like a weird, like, trippy mind trip sequence, though. Brought 
you to the old man. You were a fool to come back here. It's how they found you. Yada yada yada. Artos. Where your family is broken. Are we seriously just gonna go through all of these levels again? In this like mind trip version? Come on. These are actually first order stormtroopers we're fighting now at least, even if they're just mind trip versions. Come on, just fucking die. Like the way the lightsaber at like combat quote unquote works in this is pretty not the best. Oh, do I have to kill them all? Is that what you're telling me? There we go. Come on. More. Yes. What else? There we go. Fucking you up. You too. Oh, that doesn't work because they're behind cover. Who? Where? Hello? Seriously, what? Who's left? Okay, Jesus. Please, no more. Is it over? Finally. Bayora. He took it to Bayora. There we go. Finally, Jesus. That was kind of not fun after a little bit there. I have what I came for. He's yours now. Clean this up. How are you doing? Oh, come on. You spare me the pleasantries, ask. <laughs> We both know how this ends. Yeah, and you don't get to be brave! Because you are not a soldier anymore! Look at you, you're a coward. You traded in your weapon. Who is this voice actor? Because his delivery is, like, really interesting. It's, like, all slurred. All in it's kind of curious. You know, Aiden may have betrayed me, but you, Del, you let me down! You... We all change, don't we? Hey? And look at you. <laughs> you used to be dead. That's a funny line. <laughs> well, Aiden could do just about anything except kill me. Apparently. As Gideon, 
please. Don't go after her. It won't end well for you. It didn't last time. Please. Yeah, let's get it over with. Project Resurrection can continue as planned. On the contrary, Club. I sought you out because because you were useful to me once. We rebuilt your home and we allowed you now security to maintain control of the system, but in return you have fallen behind schedule and you have allowed an outsider to discover our plan. An honest mistake, I assure you. My men will relocate the pillow operation and up no triple our efforts on a film. Well, I shall leave behind a few of my men to see that you do. Make sure you bury Delmico and his crew. <laughs> like, his delivery is so kind of off-kilter that it feels like the motion capture didn't have, like, doesn't know how to keep up with his line delivery. It's kind of weird. Anyway. Like yeah, that's a cute that's a cute little story mode. That's about as long as I expected it to be. It didn't really do what I expected it to do. But again, I'm not complaining about like focusing on like post episode six primarily a ridge tridge content. No it doesn't. Her fucking career continues in multiplayer, my ass. Not even like a credits sequence, just okay, go play the multiplayer. Play multiplayer, done now. Play multiplayer. <laughs> That's kind of weird and a little bit of a bummer. But like, yeah, that was good. Like, the game part of the game is nice. I like the little story mode. It was a fun little story mode. Definitely not worth 60 fucking bucks. <laughs> this game. Especially not in the state it's in now. Maybe like next year, year and a half, when they've finished adding all the content to it and it's dropped in price substantially. Yeah, not even a fucking story mode. I mean, not even a fucking credits. That's so ridiculous. I don't care. Maybe like a year, a year and a half from now, when all the content's finished, when there's more single player, like, on top of the- instead of just being these, which are weird and locked off, like this, that you have to like- that are like, weird. Eh. When there's more content, I could definitely see them doing like more story DLC, like another DLC campaign, like one- Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Like twelve, thirteen missions. That's that's pretty what I expected. Yeah. I could see again. I could see them. I could see them doing more with it in the future, and maybe that potential future product will be worth thirty, forty bucks. But definitely right now, not worth a full sixty dollar price tag for sure. Especially since, again, I'm not even going to touch the multiplayer. I mean, like, I'm definitely happy about having a, a new Star Wars video game. I play it, and I'm like, it's Star Wars, and I'm playing it, and it's fun. That's the part, that's, that's great. But what little of that there is... I feel like I can hold you you can hold off. You can you can go ahead and put this one at the back of the shelf, so to speak. It'll still be there. And again, the first game, Battlefront 1, the the new one, they added a bunch of stuff to that. They added a bunch to like what that game is when you buy it now which still isn't a lot because they kind of like just rushed it out the door right away because they're like we got to get a game out we got to get a game out right now 
because we own the fucking Star Wars property. We gotta rush it out right now. And, like, what's here is already more than what was in Battlefront 1. So I could definitely see, like, the eventual future Game of the Year edition version of this game having a worthy amount of content on there. But until then, eh. Good rental for the short little story mode. But not really much outside of that to make it worth it. It's Star Wars. Just make new Star Wars games. That's all I want. I just want you to make new Star Wars games. I want to play new Star Wars games. Please. Until then. That's all. Oh, wait, what was that? How much does... Oh, locked. Uh, figures. Oh. Anyway, until then, that's, that's Star Wars. Thank you for watching. Really depressing that it didn't even have a fucking credit sequence. Let's do it on their behalf, I guess. There you go. Da, it's a Star Wars. They made a Star Wars. I just played a Star Wars. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.
Okay, at that point, the credits are too fucking long. 